Can you hear me in the back over there? Yeah. Or you can't hear me over there? All right, turn to the person next to me and say, you look good. All right, turn to the next person and say, you look good. All right, we just lost our first now. Allow me to start off with a bold statement. I am not in school for education. Education is not the primary reason I am in school. Education is a reason, but not the reason. My heart heard that shit go crazy. But it's true. The reason I'm in school is because of the resources that are provided to me, the resources that and that's at my disposal. Also, the network opportunities, like this month we're going to be at the President Polinsky's house, and that's only words to people from SGA. So there's a lot of network opportunities and resources that I have that I wouldn't have gotten if I'm not, if I don't get involved. There's a problem. There's a lot of kids, they come to a two-year college like Valencia, and they come with a little nerdy book bag, and then they walk inside the classroom, they sit down, they take great notes, they take great notes, they go home, they study for about three hours, four hours, they come back to class, they take the pop quiz, they pass the test, hooray. And then they do that with every class and they end up with a good grade. That's the problem. The problem is not getting a good grade, the problem is that person did not get involved. If the only thing you get out of school is education, then you're losing money. Let me say that again. If the only thing you get out of school is education, then you're losing money. Because part of what you pay to come to school go towards, or to wish, go towards activities. So when you go outside and you see the building eight as an event, or you see that there's flyers, or you see that there's a water slide, like what Patricia said, and you see all these cool things and free food, you pay for it. You pay for it with your own money. So if you, the only thing you got in school is education, you're losing out. I remember when I first got to Valencia College, my goal was to get involved. So I went to the student's development office and I asked for a list of the club names. So I looked, I said, okay, that's not interesting, boring. Oh, that's pretty cool, but that doesn't really fit what I'm gonna do. And I looked and I looked and that wasn't really a club that I can say I wanted to be a part of. So I decided, let me start my own club. That's cool? Yeah. So I went back to the office, I said, okay, I want to start a club. I was going to name it, a walk is greater than talk. So you can imagine walk, the greater than sign, and talk. Because me, I'm passionate about social change. So I said, you know, I'm tired of people that only speaking about different issues, but they're not really taking action. So that's what I'm about. So I got the packet where I need, they said I need at least 10 signatures, I need, um, I need an advisor, I need a board around me. So I went, I went, it was easy, it was easy to get 10, 10 signatures, I just explained my idea, they said, oh, well, that's pretty cool, and I signed me up. And then looking for a board, that was difficult because people, you know, they didn't want to dedicate too much time. And then I looked for an advisor, that was difficult as well. And it just so happened 9-11 was coming up, this was in 2014. 9-11 came up and I was walking to the, I guess, library, and then they were having an event um, for 9-11, and they had, I noticed they had like a spot for open mics, where you could come up and speak about how you felt and things that mattered to. So I went on and I shared my sentiments about 9-11. Needless to say, it was a good speech. And then the SGA president, he came up to me afterwards and he said, Hey Jeff, I think we should join SGA. I was like, ah, oh, thank you, that's a cool offer. I'm flattered, but no, I'm about to start myself a club. And he was like, all right, I know you know people are offended, but I said, all right. <laughs> um, so a couple months later, I'm still trying to start the club. Nothing was moving, nothing was happening. So I said, all right, I decided to capitulate. And I said, Pawnee, who was SGA president, I said, allow me to join SGA, and that's where I'm at now. So currently, I'm the Senator for Community Relations at Valencia College, and that entails me bridging the gap between the students and the community. 
I'm just um, in July, July 9th, the summer, we had an event called Same Story, Different Title, What Can You Do to Rewrite History? And we basically brought in community leaders from outside to sit down with the students just like y'all to engage about different issues that are happening in the community. So we spoke about homelessness, homelessness among our students, we spoke about financial literacy, we spoke about many different aspects that are paying us today. And need to say, it was a great event. A lot of students got engaged, a lot of students, um, they felt hungry to pursue something more. So that's what I'm getting out of Valencia College. Those resources, those networking, those opportunities, those events. So my question to you is, what are you getting out of Valencia? Is the only thing you're getting out of Valencia education? Which is great, but is that the only thing? If not, then I implore you today to try your best to get involved go to the, um, the Student Development Office, Valencia Volunteers, whatever the case is, and then get involved. And when you come to UCF, get involved as well. So I thank you very much for your time.